Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this short video we're going to look at what happened in game week 15 in the Midnight Mule Mini League and then my plan for game week 16. So top scorer in our league for game week 15 was Ali Stow with 70 points which is very good if you look at what all the other scores were. It was a very low scoring week. And this is how he managed it. Captain Trent for 24 points and then Sanchez in goal for 11 he Chan for 10, Ward Prowse for 8, and all of those are pretty low owned, so it's okay to go differential, and that's what gave him a good week. And then apart from that, Embremo got 6, and that was pretty much it. And look at that, no points on the bench. I think that's very impressive. Top of the league, we have a new leader. It's BV with Giga Chad FC on 999 points. This is how they managed that. They had Sanchez for 11, Embremo for 6, Captain Salah for 6, Palmer got 8, Saka 5, Pedro Porro 5, and that's all. And on the bench, again, pretty much nothing. As for me, I'm down in 168th of 33 points. Now, I got a red arrow, and I am a bit surprised at that, in as much as I thought if Haaland gets fewer than 7 points, I've got a chance of a green, a reasonable chance of a green. If he gets more than 7, it'd be a red. And um, he, he got fewer than seven and I still got a red. So that was pretty rubbish. So this is how I did it. My highest scorer was in Bremo with six. who went off injured. Captain Salah doubled to get six. Pedro Porro five. Saka five. And that's it. On my bench, I had White on four and Ward Prowse with eight. Now I had a couple of transfer plans. And one that I wanted to do, and it's what I tweeted, it's what I really wanted to do. And there's the proof for it. I really wanted to move on James, uh, yeah, James Will Prowse to get in He Chan and bench Simicast. And had I done that, I would have got eight points more and had a healthy green. But the reason I didn't is there's been a few times recently where I've made my transfers just before the deadline and they've always backfired. Or I've maybe changed my bench just before the back deadline and it was the wrong thing to do. So even though I wanted to do this, I didn't on the strength that doing things last minute has been wrong for me. So now I've got to adjust my thinking and I need to try and work out when it's OK to do it. But that's OK. We've got a lot of weeks left. We've got 20 something weeks left, I think. I don't know what the mass is. 23 weeks left, maybe 24, something like that. 23 weeks left. So plenty of time. I, I, there's lots of time for me to make more mistakes yet. So 33 points just inside the 6 million game week rank. Uh, so red arrow, but hey, what are you going to do? So I'm nine points to the wrong side of one million and I don't have Haaland and the next two game weeks, Man City have quite nice fixtures. So I'm kind of thinking if in two weeks time I'm still within the top two million, that's a result. So I'm 16 points away from two million. So if I go backward fewer than 16 points, Without Haaland, I kind of think that's all right. So I'm not hoping for a red arrow, but I can handle it if in two weeks' time I'm still within the two million mark. That's all right. I'm 191 from top spot. So if I get nine points more every week between now and the end of the season, I'll win the whole thing. That is nine points more than the person at the top. Look at that. 1,057 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who subscribes to this. Everyone who watches it, likes, leave comments. Very much appreciated. So the FPL Game Week website, you can see the Content Creators League on that and you'd see where you would appear. And of the people that I like to watch and follow, FPL Fran is currently second with 935 points. Mark Southerns is fourth from FPL Black Box. Now, funny thing here, I went to Ross's meetup in Nottingham last weekend. Very nice, met some people. And there was someone there and I thought, that looks a bit like Mark, but I'm face blind. So I can't, I have real problems telling people apart. And I thought, nah, it's not Mark. And then the next day I saw him on a YouTube video and it, it was him. So had I realised, I would have said hello. But there we go. And the FBL Nim Freer, she's in 10th. She had a bad week, but she's still in the top 10 for the content creators. I would be all the way down in 52nd. And the only person I'm really aware of that's on this page is, well, at least I'm above search from Planet FPL. So that's nice. Transfers. I've actually made transfers. I took out Ward Prowse and I brought in He Chan. That was on the day of the match, but after the match. But 
at this time looked like Ward Prowse was going to go down in value and He Chan up. And money is actually quite important. And I thought I would rather just make it now. And then at least I'm financially slightly better off than if I left it a couple of days. And then Embremo got injured. So the same day as he got injured, I swapped him for Palmer. And then that obviously gave me a bit of money. So I moved on Simicast, who's not a dead cert to start. And I brought in Trent, who hopefully will start. So I had two free transfers. That's cost me four points. But I think it's a step in the right direction. Had I made this last these moves last game week, of course, that would have been good. I'm aware that he chans off to Asia in a few weeks' time for the Asian Cup. And I'm aware that after this game week, his fixtures aren't great. But he's only, I think, 5.7. So I can afford for him to sit on my bench because I have 15... Well, I have 13 decent outfield players. My keepers aren't very good. So my team, as it's lining up at the moment, I'm not expecting to make any more transfers. I've got Salah. He's going to wear the captain's hat as things stand. He's away to Crystal Palace. My only reservation about that is it's the early kickoff on Saturday and it's away. And when a team is away and they've had to travel a distance and it's an early kickoff, they do tend to perform a bit worse. So not completely sold on that, but I'm probably going to make Salah captain. And then I've got his mate Trent in defence and Darwin up top. I've got Sun as vice-captain, but of course, if he's still a potential doubt for the weekend, I give the, the vice-captaincy to someone else and his mate Porro in defence. I've got He Chan at home to Forest. I've got Watkins at home to Arsenal, which would be a very interesting game. I'd expect probably both teams to score there. Then I've currently got Ariola away to Fulham. I think that's my best shout for the keeper at the moment. Trippier away to Tottenham, Saka away to Villa and Palmer away to Everton. Now, I have all the players on my bench. I'd be happy to play any of them, but I can't see there's any of these 10 outfield players that I'd want to swap. And my bench is Johnson at home to Liverpool. Obviously, we'll expect him to let in goals, but he should get plenty of chances to get some save points. So he might get one or two points. Gio Pedro at home to Burnley. If I knew he was starting... I'd really want to play him because home to Burnley, good chance of scoring. But I really don't know which of my 10 other players, or as a country defenders, which of my other seven attacking players I would swap him for. And I've got White away to Aston Villa. I wouldn't expect a clean sheet, but he is attacking. He's a very good player. And I've got Saliba. So I think that's quite a strong bench. I haven't got my bench boost, so that's not going to be happening this week. I burnt that a long time ago. So that's as I stand at the moment. As for the background picture, as you probably know, Man City are away to Luton. They play at uh, Kenilworth Road. And it's basically someone's back garden, Luton. So my hope this week is Harlan's going to be put off by all the weeds and flowers that are there and the smell of the barbecue next door. Maybe next door's dog's going to run on the pitch. he get completely overwhelmed and confused, not perform at all and blank. And that gave me a chance of not getting hurt too bad this week. Of course, there's a reasonable chance of court as well that he's going to score lots of points, but I hope that's not the case. And that's what happened in game week 15 and my plans for game week 16. I'm expecting a lot of teams to be making quite a lot of transfers and for there to be lots of hits. So if you're wanting to take a minus four or minus eight this week, I kind of think that's all right and it hopefully won't hurt you too much. All right, <laughs> let's hope you all have a good game week 16. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>